I started out looking at it as kind of like another uncle for Bryson, you know, and I have another nephew. Um, and then it just develops into a friendship as he gets older and more mature, then you, you just have more, you know, adult conversations and stuff like that, and you know what I mean? And so it's, it's exciting and you just get so much out of watching him develop as a, as a young man and yeah, I don't know, it's, you, know you get pretty proud of him. So it's, it is so much more rewarding. You get out of it more and you put into it. We used to play a lot of like Connect Four and Man Cobbler. I like to connect for because, you know, that's my game. But we used to play basketball a lot, too, though. Of course, I would always win. Lies. Nice. <laughs> I, I never had a daughter, so you're my daughter. I know. I I'm, I'm pretty sure that was a big, you know, success, too. Because I was like, oh, she got four boys. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun for her. <laughs> he knows how to brighten up a day. Like, he's never, like, he's never really serious. He's just funny all the time. And sometimes I feel like, I feel like everybody needs that. Mm -hmm. And I know I need that sometimes. Sheree has grown into a beautiful young woman. She's always been beautiful, but now she's a young woman. And she's gotten even more wise. And um, she really takes into consideration so many different factors when she makes decisions compared to when she, when I first met her. I feel like she's really thoughtful about the way she goes about life um, and specifically like how she thinks about how her decisions will affect other people and her future. I love that she listens to everything I say, especially when I go on about how many ducks I want in the future. <laughs> And then, like, then she just listens to me all the time, and I just love her. I learned just as much from Tyson as probably he has learned anything from me. Uh, he is very caring, and uh, that helps me also remember, okay, I need to make sure I'm caring and supportive of other people just like he has been. And it's regardless of age, because obviously uh, I'm older, he's younger, but as an older person, we still have a lot to learn from those that are younger than us. He's funny, yeah. He's always funny. Um, he's very positive, always. Uh, he's just a good friend to be around with. But I think of Susan, I don't really think of her as just my mentor. She's like, you're like a really good friend to me, and I really appreciate that you, you listen to me, because I know I have a lot to say. <laughs> um, but yeah, what makes you probably the best, one of the best people I know and have met is that you genuinely care and you show that through listening. He changed me more than I ever thought I was going to do for him. You know, like, I, just the way I grow with people, the way I, I mean, just deal with people on an ongoing basis has, has changed and evolved over the years. I feel like mentoring will help you. You know, it's not, you probably won't have a lot of people to talk to, but you'll have your mentor. You know, your mentor will always be there for you. When you don't have any friends, when you're going through breakups, you know, when you're going through like all types of stuff. He's going to finish uh, high school, I say, well, he's wishing the best and hopefully someday, someday he will remember, you know, and he was a mentee and hopefully he will follow our, you know, our same thing, you know, he can be a mentor again and help other kids too. It doesn't even feel like, what, eight years? <laughs> you know, we've just been meeting like once, once a week, you know, like, and here we are, it's crazy. So it's, um, and I would say like, you know, if you're, you know, uh, you're with your senior, you know, mentor again if you have the time, you know. I had mentors growing up and I'm still uh, close to those people to this day. 